Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Planet Zoo franchise mode. Yeah, after yesterday's uh, weird episode. Today is a very quick update about what happened yesterday and uh, well the good news is I fixed it. The bad news is I needed to get rid of the restaurant that Haribo provided. And Haribo, if you are listening, I'm just jumping right into. Um, I figured what exactly was the issue. It was mainly the floor um, which was way too crazy for the game to handle. I don't know if you have any problems in your empty park with it or not. Uh, I tested it in empty park and even there it was already quite problematic but as soon as you go close to animation areas where there has been like a habitat or whatever the game completely freezes and crashes and for me it was the RAM going full 100% and then just kind of shut down everything. I don't know why exactly it was the RAM. I consider this to be more like an maybe maybe like a problem that has the uh, uh, CPU, but I don't know. Anyhow, um, I deleted this one and exchanged most of it, unfortunately, with um, a very bad looking thing at the moment we might be fixing in the in the future. It still is laggy around here, so I'm, I'm not really touching it. I think it's because of the tables as well, because just look at that. One of those tables is like already 349 pieces, so that means like we have like 700, 1.4 thousand already around here. I don't even want to know what this middle piece is like. And like 200 ish pieces yeah so still quite a lot of pieces in one area and here's a little hint for you haribo so if you're listening make sure in in the future to um yeah basically split up the buildings in in many different buildings that are mainly less than um i think like 2000 pieces um the best thing is less than thousand pieces but for example your big building had like four and a half thousand pieces and then yeah all of this together in this kind of uh, little area is is way too way too much work for the game it seems and uh, yeah um, i'm gonna get rid of some of the animals here by the way because um we are running into some issues here with the breeding especially like i needed to get a new female gorilla she should be back in in the house already let me just check if she is um wait uh who's who's in that habitat there is there is there is there is there's the girl that should be the new girl right you are the new girl aren't you the new girl yes uh saida and i'm really hoping that she's matching uh with ojore before they are going to get elderly because they are oh well 16.5 years should be all good 18.3 years they should have some some juice left <laughs> to uh to make some babies and uh, well we are going to focus today on another habitat that goes into this corner over here. I'm not even sure if, if this uh, size over here is already enough. Might be I need to uh, increase the size of it. So let me just edit this area a little bit. Um, mainly the reason why I put this here is simply because we already have the backstage area and we can use this one. Uh, hopefully this is going to be good. Um, but I think, yeah, maybe, maybe this is a good idea actually. So let's do it that way. So we could also have like an indoor view. So there you go, and then the rest should be here. And we're going to do the lions. And as always, I don't need to uh, say too much because you guys know what I'm doing um, from the thumbnail, obviously. And this is why I'm going to start this now. I'm just waiting until the sun reached a light level that is uh, good for us to use. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the gate somewhat over here. Yeah, that is nice. And I think that, do I have some buildings already hidden in here? No, I haven't. Okay, so that means I can still hide some buildings in there already. Okay, so the sun is in a perfect level at the moment. What we're going to do, we're trying to build very much straightforward today. This building will keep, uh, will, will stay here. Um, I like this being in this, this back area. Um, this whole back area will be quite big and there will be a huge amount of facilities going in now because that will be the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, one, st wait, no, no, no. We can just move this in just a little bit like this. It should not be peeking out. No, it's not. All right, so it's going to connect through one of these well, let's just do that one so they go at least into this building that should be nice and then let's put down a big keeper hut uh, just, uh, goes all the way oops in here there you go this is the keeper hut i'm figuring like we could also put like another vet surgery in here because we don't have another one in the center so this is now in here so we have all these new uh, facilities hidden in there um also what we're going to do is we're going to put a transformer even though we have some energy oh well not too much so we can can basically hide the thing in that corner here and we just have a 
water purifier or water treatment right next to it. So this is kind of what is fixing this area around here. That should be all good. And now we are focusing on uh, the lion habitat. And for the lion habitat, I have a very specific idea to make it rather easy to build right now. And on the other hand side also look good. Um, so what we are going to do, we are just trying to build something really good looking. Um, and therefore we are using the Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, obviously with the plaster piece, we are going to start. This is going to be our starting point, which is going to be this thing over here. There you go. Um, I think I even want to, f yeah, let's start with the gate. And then we can also just change this whole building later on into uh, invisible walls. This should be way easier. Okay, so this is going to be the first wall that goes over here. And I'm just... You know what? No, you know what? We, we just do it that way. Uh, we just do it that way. We just do this. Make make my life a little more simple by just having, you know, a straightforward build here and not like, you know, something too complicated. We're going to leave this first thing a little bit open like this. I'm going to make like a nice front out of rocks and stuff. And uh, yeah, we can, we can still work with some rocks over here as well. Let me also just change the barrier a little bit because the barrier is something rather important. Also, like a little hint, I'm streaming tonight. So uh, in case you want to see some Yosemite Valley tonight, make sure to check out my uh, Twitch stream. This is going to start around, I think, 7.30, 7, 7.30 around ish. I'm, I'm trying to get to uh, maybe a bit later, maybe a bit earlier. It does depend a little bit on how much work I will have uh, the whole day because I'm recording this actually actually I'm recording this uh, in my as always lately in my lunch break and fun story uh, there was just an update released uh, I don't know if you've seen that and I was completely shocked because they changed the intro to the game like where this um, little elephant is kicking over uh, the frontier logo is gone and there is now an ostrich coming run past and it's just kind of making the frontier logo vibrate it's not even crashing anymore I don't know if that's any kind of hint or little secret thing or whatever but it's for me it was pretty weird to see because I was like I was so used to hearing the elephant and then I'm having this noise going on before it kicks over the frontier logo and just doesn't do it right now it is super weird um, but well you can kind of understand this um, it, it, they want to have some fresh air even though I'm a bit confused why they do this um, hopefully this is maybe a first little hint to something even though I, I don't really know why this would be maybe because a bird or whatever I don't know I'm just speculating you know but I'm, I'm like awfully confused why you would do this like it's you know it, it, there's no need for something like that at all like why why would you need this why, why would you change this I mean it's not like it, it improves anything right I mean if you if you have the urge to change some things about the art or whatever all right okay oh by the way they have changed something about the set roofs I wanted to look into this what the improvement is I haven't done this so we, we might just check if they improve something about the thatch roofs uh, I'm gonna check this in a second first of all let's just uh, bring this to an end here just one two three well, maybe four I don't know how many just like move this over here oh well yeah, that should be, that should be fine and uh, just have a bit of a you know just a little bit of a styling N nothing major as I said I mean, it's just gonna be very straightforward here uh, make it that way and yeah we can also have like this go oops uh, go over here a bit more anyhow so that's that's mainly it and we're gonna gonna make this like all rock smooth and stuff in here even though yeah it makes sense to have more concrete in there as well I guess but yeah well I just um yeah why not let's have like a concrete roof concrete uh, no everything concrete concrete wall uh, no roof there you go move it all the way down this should be good and then we're just going to copy this into that corner over here get some bedding on top and that should be fine you know nothing crazy because we're going to make this thing um open like this and then we're going to have some plaster let's make this a bit weird this time but i i hope it looks good so let's just move this in there we go this one will be uh whatever uh nobody nope nope nobody nope there you go so that connects over here to not make this too high you know just like being very careful here and then just have some of these things 
like in a rotated fashion in here, you know, make this a bit more modern looking, a bit more unusual looking, maybe it's the word I was looking for. Yeah, we can just have that a bit open, why not? And kind of get it with a more prominent V shape here, like that. All right, that should be fine. And now let's get the barrier and move this one in there and that one goes all the way over here oh we don't get this done oh well let's just no 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 no. invisible hey there's another one isn't there yeah well no let's go to invisible there we go now we can just choose that one and say one side glass there you go i think it's nice looking from this side yeah it is okay that looks cool and now we can just do the front here um yeah, why not? Okay, so I, I have also an idea of something I haven't done before and I'm, I'm not sure if it even works, but yeah, well, we, we have a look into that uh, if it works or not, but we, we will see. We will see. Okay, let's go to nature, rocks, and then I think I want to do this with the other rocks this time. I think I'm going to do this solely with those rocks. Uh, I, I just think they fit better for a cave, even even a tropical one. I know it's it's not like it's just basically the same I did with the cheetahs, I guess, but just make sure that I I don't have you know everything mixed up too much. So just a little bit like this, and then we can also use some of those other ones to make it higher. And we're also going to mix in some of the other uh, rocks as well. So I'm not gonna stick the whole time with these ones. I just want to have some of those now at the beginning, some of the bigger ones also rounding it off here. This is huge one going down here so that they can have like a peek into the, I, mm. yeah, I would love to have like a bit of a, yeah, this is, this is the piece I was looking for. It's a bit of a hiding going on. Yeah, it looks, it looks rather good. And then we can also put some, some rocks to the back side here. Uh, I'm going to show you why I do this. And there you go and like a thinner one goes just in here just drop that down a bit as well so here we go just for people that look into it looks a bit more like a cave in the back it's it's just a minor thing but i i think i like that quite a bit uh, i think we can actually move all of them a good bit down there we go just like this and then i'm gonna give this piece also a good time on top here there you go just a little bit like so awesome and now we're going to blend in some of the tropical rocks just to make sure that we have a bit of a nice texture overlaying going on it's okay it's just a little bit you know it's, it's nothing major just to make it a bit more tropical vibe-ish i guess that's what i want to do yeah this can peek through here as well let's make sure that we have a bit of a Big side heat going on as well. I, I think also make sure that they cannot climb on here. So I'm gonna use this one in my advance, I guess. So just put that here. And then we can do some some kind of terrain work. Just make this also a bit more like go down. There we go. I'm gonna smooth that out again. And we're going to use a whole bunch of sand over here. There we go. It's like a huge habitat for them. It's it's not small, you know, it's uh, very big. And this is what I want to give them. Oh my God. To make sure that this looks uh, kind of cool and also helps them to thrive in their lovely habitat. So making sure that they cannot jump over these barriers in the back. I think we need to raise them anyway. So how, how tall are they? 3.5 could be enough. Just going to go safe and go to four meters, I guess. Now, I wanted to see, okay, what kind of uh, rides do we have we could use? Oh, wait, I haven't researched them even. Okay, but the monorail is already kind of nice. Um, this is the one I wanted to use for what I was testing now. So I wanted to make the monorail be our wonderful um, barrier for this habitat. I don't want to make too much, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this as my barrier. And there you go, we can just all the way go up here, it doesn't matter. And then, oops. Uh, can I get any any shorter? No, I cannot, okay. 
so I need to bring this down again until I have the right height. I think that's the right height, yeah. I cannot get any, okay. Well then, gonna use this piece. Alrighty, uh, now, we just get rid of all of that and here we go. This is our piece. I'm gonna start with and gonna advance, move it. And gonna move it just here as a little railing to the outside and we're gonna edit the track now i'm gonna just bring that all the way along our path let's see that we just kind of make this nice enough i think that's fine here we go and we can just round that off here just like this all right this is awesome and i'm gonna do the same on the other side here we go i would love to have like a water ride you know like, I mean, the boat ride is like a water ride, but it, it doesn't have water in it. So that would be huge, like a log flume we could use as a little stream. That would be, that would be actually gorgeous. But yeah, no, we don't have it yet. So it's a bit of a pity that we don't, but it's okay. So just move that in. Awesome. And now it's pretty cool, though, because you can easily just adjust the color of it. You know, we can just go to customize track colors and you can say when I have this like a bit brighter or like more greenish. Um, for my taste, actually, I want to go to like a darkish green tint, and I think this, this is going to be dark as well. And then that one needs to be a bit brighter. Awesome. And we have these things in the middle that can also be a bit brighter. Cool. Look at that. This is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We have this done. All right. Now what we can do, as always, just build ourselves a little bit like a like a ditch so that they cannot go out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this all the way down, all the way down here. Just make sure that this looks nice. Awesome. The same, same is going to be happening here and the rest will be covered up with the rocks. Uh, what exactly is happening here? Oh, this is because of the first piece of, of the track. I wonder if I, ah, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we will we will hopefully be able to hide that away. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna push the terrain further down everywhere so make it a bit more smooth and not too obvious and it's just oops this is the wrong this one was the one i wanted to have so i'm going to smooth this all out awesome this is the way we want it great and then uh, yeah i think i think because this is a bit different i'm gonna make this and this also that one and then just raise that ever so much. And then we can also bring this whole backside into a new color, just to make sure that this looks a bit better. Yeah, that's the that's the greenish color I wanted to go for anyhow. So that's kind of cool. And then we just use some rocks already here to make sure that the corner of the, I mean, it's, I'm actually a bit sorry that this like always looks the same. Uh, ich, kinda ich, because this is like in franchise and makes sense because you you build like a lot more efficient and stuff So this is what the zoo is about and that's also the main reason why I wanted to do it that way Now let me see that we can get some water in here This, this is the height. Yeah, this is awesome because then they can just swim and cannot climb out of the other side That makes the whole thing even easier to use um, And we're just going to use some some nature pieces again to just make sure they don't jump out here i'm going to use also a tad bit of like elephant grass and stuff can be used everywhere that makes the whole thing even easier to use and we are already quite good to go i think we still have some lions in our uh in the um trade center from from my old zoos and i'm also like it's, it's quite a quite a bit of a strategical uh thing to do right now because i want to make sure that i have more animals breeding uh that i can sell and then uh, make some more money out of them like this is this is one of the most uh, important reasons look at that this is kind of nice uh gonna build them like a like a huge rock in the middle now where they can climb on as well which they hopefully like it's almost like the the pride rock of uh, lion king but it's just like this one is going to be a bit more uh, straightforward just to make sure that they have something nothing nothing too crazy nothing too ridiculous also we have to pay tribute to the area we are in so we're gonna make like a bit of a mossy area where they can 
lay on as well and yeah well just always i don't know I, I always tend to use these pieces anyways over here simply because they seem to be better anyhow it's like because no rock would be f like they are obviously rocks fully covered in moss like I'm, I'm not gonna say it's not but it's just weird that um you know that that i'm always favoring these pieces like it's kind of obvious because i i like the fact that you have still some uh rock texture in between um, but still, I don't know. I barely ever use these um, fully moss pieces. I don't know. Even though they look cool. So, yeah, just put this down. It looks a bit bad, no. Well, whatever. Uh, okay, I think they might be able to just break out here. But we are going to make like a solid wall now. Uh, which is going to be very, 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 very simple. So, we're going to be concrete uh, wall. There you go. Make it a bit higher. And a bit forward, more like this. Awesome. One, two. I'm going to make this a bit different anyways. So, like double fence because there needs to be a fence on that side too. Just goes here. 20 minutes into this episode. I want to make this half an hour. So I think that should be something where we can succeed today. So just make sure that... Whoa, where was that? There you go. This is that. And then, are we just going to use mulch? I think we are just going to use mulch. I think that should be the easiest way and also looking good. So I'm gonna make this one work. Um, oh no, you know what we need? You know what we use? I, I use? I use the flower bed backside. This is also kind of cool. So we're going to use this one. Um, there you go. Because that gives the cool texture as Haribo has uh, also used in, in many of his builds actually uh, lately. So I was kind of fascinated by it because I, I think it looks kind of cool um, because it gives this bit of a more, um, how's this called, artificial kind of uh, vibe to it. And that said, I just want to make sure this, yeah, goes a bit further in just to give us a bit more room to move it. Move it, baby, move it. And then when we stick some plants in it, it should give the context even better. It looks a bit more dried out and makes sense in this area because it's kind of in full sunlight anyways. And yeah, it's a bit of a thing though with uh, yeah the, the texture fighting. So let's just choose every second one, move them quickly up and down. There you go. Awesome. So that's already it. I don't want to, as I said, I don't want to overdo it. And we're just going to follow the lines of the texture here uh the, the 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 monorail track there you go i'm gonna move this as a piece like this goes all the way like here i'm gonna put something else in this corner so that there is something nice nice looking as well yeah that should be all good now let's just again follow the lines follow the lines this could be like a good wordplay here follow the lines follow the line no whatever sorry i'm so sorry do, do, do. We do have some gaps in between there, but uh, they should not be too much to worry about. So let's just tilt this a bit more because I do want to make sure that everything is hidden away nicely. Also, this weird little spot there. And since, the, yeah, we can just like take the corner here already. So why not? Just move that in. Awesome. And yeah, that's already like it looks pretty decent for the amount of time and work we put into this. It's uh, you get very, very used to this and, and very like, I don't know, um, efficient in, in building when you do this for such a long time. This doesn't even fit. It's, again, something for Aliyah, but still, uh, no, it's it's peeking through. It's too deep in. Do it that way. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, and then we're gonna do this on this side as well, make sure. Maybe, it, like, use another one here. Um, there you go, just this one is good. And also, like, another one goes here. And sink that in too. Awesome, all done, all great. So, if I did calculate that correct, no one should be able to break out. Therefore, we can already quickly look if... Uh, wait, we are actually in the complete wrong area. Let's see. Oh my lord. We have a wonderful West African lion here. Three years old. Uh, this is the first one that goes in here. Definitely. 
Do we also have like a female one? I'm not sure if we had a female one because I think, no, we definitely haven't. Um, so we're going to go for a female one here. The reason why I have another one is um, mainly because, let me just have a lot of them. Look at how many white ones do you have? This is ridiculous, 2.1 thousand. Honestly, I don't even, like I don't even want. Okay, let me just sort them by price. There you go. This is fine. I mean, was this like too old? Nine point. Mm. Okay, let's get two then. This one is good. This one is good. Uh, Frontier Zoo. It's yeah. Well, okay. Longevity doesn't really matter too much right now. I just want to have babies, and then we go from there. Uh, we have got some other males in there as well. So yeah, I'm not even. I don't even regret it. Okay. So move in. And we're gonna move the other one in as well. I like that they changed this. It seems that they changed this, that you can now scroll through the whole um, trade center without even changing the pages, which I do like quite a bit. Now, let me also uh, put the path just through here. And definitely we're going to use the normal path over here as well. I'm just gonna bring this over there. Not sure if I leave it that way because I, I don't want them to... Yeah, I definitely want the people to go specifically into this area and not somewhere else. So otherwise this will be pretty crowded. So I'm going to make like a little bit of a roundabout here. Oops. There you go. Just like make sure that they they use the space nice enough and not just, you know, not just stand all the way in, in the way actually. And they just can also like have... A connection over here. This is good. This is okay. So I can just roam around and have a look to the animals over there. Awesome. Okay, now let's go in. 26 minutes in. I think I'm gonna very good in time today. Very quick actually in building. Now we're gonna just leave that thing falling down. That thing. Thing called Keeper. Um, there you go. Lion Mama. <laughs> there you go. You get a new work zone. This is your work zone over here. Hello. There you go. This is Lion. Awesome. This is done. Lion Mama is in here. Um, good. Okay, so Lion should be delivered in a bit. We have only the animal stress thing. Oh, well. Uh, Jaguar is about to mate. It's all good. It's all good. Um, lion. Okay. So what we're going to do, obviously, we need to put some bedding in here. We're also going to put some bedding on top of here. Oh, we can actually use the leaves. Why not? Use the leaves, so maybe maybe they just find their spot down there. I'm um, gonna put the pumpkin there. Uh, the food tray. I think the food tray goes here. And as I said, I'm gonna put the drink right next to it. Then I'm gonna put the, this one here. The scratch post. I want to have very close to the people. The sprinkler goes in the back. And then you can also get a ball that goes here. Awesome. And I think if, if we go for plants, there's definitely Africa and grassland, right? Africa biome should be grassland. I'm quite certain that this is uh, actually this area. I'm, I'm, I'm quite certain that this must be it. Um, the cool bit is we have some jungle-ish looking trees within that thing. So um, is this thing like right going to... I'm like, it looked almost like it wants to uh, just leave the habitat right away. It's like, I'm going to escape. Don't worry about it. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, but yeah, just use some elephant grass because this is uh, quite cool to make some areas a bit more dense looking in, in seconds, actually. So just make sure that I'm, I'm going to put this in here because it creates a non-traversable area so you cannot jump on top of it. And I think that looks fairly, fairly decent in a bit. Also, I think we have to look into how many plants they even want because I remember that they are really don't need that much. Uh, terrain is not even that great. Let's quickly change this. So they need a lot more rock, which uh, this is uh, way too hard and way too much. So here we go. Just give them a bit more rock. Okay. And some grass short goes all the way. Makes it look a bit more greener. That's nice. And still too much sand. Oh, well, that's okay then. Uh, two less rock. Okay, it's 
gonna blend some rock in then. Uh, where's all the sand? Is that in the water? Hello? Okay, now it's done. And I think it looks fairly decent. It looks okay. So this is good. Hot, hot, oh wait, we, we don't have a... Plants are still okay, good. Um, yeah, well, there's no roof on top of it, so this is why they do complain about this, but well, that's that's an easy task. Uh, there you go, just roof, which is not called fence. That would be kind of hilarious. Um, it's gonna be a flat roof. No, 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 read. This is so too similar. Uh, let's just have this roof. I think it blends very nicely in with this building. I did not believe that this would be the way, but I'm not gonna complain. Okay, I think we need half a step or can we just go full? No, we need half a step here too. All right, so this is it. It's kind of a nice little lion house in the back. Look at that, it looks decent. Okay, and now to give it a bit of a tropical vibe, we are going to put some very big trees. Like I, I like the... <sighs> the problem about this one is that I really don't like the trunk. I really hate it. <laughs> I do hate it. It's not looking good. I like these trees quite a bit. Um, uh, you know what, we just take that one instead of the other one. It's still also like a, yeah, this is the bigger one. I like this. Even though it creates a bit of a shade here. I think I'm gonna put this to the other side then. Here we go. Yeah, that leaves the stone in the middle. And then uh, this one is this one is obviously always not. I think we can use this in the back. Uh, it definitely would grow here, so we can... Is this climbable, though? Haha, <laughs> it is climbable, so we should not put that there. I'm just like... I like this one. But... Oh, well, we put it here. And let's see if they are still okay with the plans, because I I crammed in a lot. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I thought. Um, no, we're just gonna... Yeah, this is better. And the only thing we are going to do now is we're going to see... Do we have any ground cover or whatever? Because I just want to make sure that this backside doesn't look so dull. Well, we only have these things, so we can just put them down here. Just to create a bit of a context. But it's, it's not like what I wanted. Ah, whatever. Okay, so what we do... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this, gonna get rid of this and say tropical and I really I need to make sure that this is not leaning into the actual habitat. See that's good. Um, we have the cap tree. Is this now leaning in? Yeah, see this is actually an issue. Um, Alright, so we're gonna put that one in the back here. This one can... Uh, not there though. I think we need some bamboo as always because the bamboo is is really good. Because you can, yeah, it's it's not like it's not like doing a problem. So we can actually have this all the way along here. It can even go into the other habitat. Why not? Just have it that way. It's gonna put some bamboo here as well. And honestly, <laughs> just to cover up this area, and oh, we are gonna clo get close to this building. Um, but yeah, so that's nice. And I think one of these nut trees goes here. Oh, lovely! It's not in the habitat even. Great. Okay, but still, I want to have a lot more of those trees and stuff going into the context of the area. So I don't want to have like... Okay, it's not... Is it in? Really? Like... Mm. I hate that. Okay, let's do it that way. Yeah, no, it's not in. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. And also, yeah, let's just put some... Bamboo and stuff here. So there we go. Just some tropical plants here and there. Just to make sure that we also have this area nicely rounded off. Just some, some smaller things here and there. Oops, this was in the ground. No one needs that, but anyways. Okay, now we are good. 33 minutes in. It's about to end this uh, episode slowly. Um, simply we can, because we can and because it makes sense and uh, I wanted to have like a short episode. As I said, it's my lunch break and I just actually want to eat something in my lunch break. Uh, and then, this is actually floating. Oh no, it's only the ground looking that weird. Um, but yeah, as I said, I'm gonna stream tonight. Um, if you wanna catch this, make sure to check out my uh, Twitch channel because this is where you definitely would catch me the easiest. Um, and yeah, so that's that's about it. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really hope you enjoy the series still. 
And yeah, this is our lovely little lion habitat, uh, which we just kind of stamped out of the ground in just one single episode in uh, 35 minutes. That's kind of crazy. I like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed as well. And again, the last info, gonna stream tonight. So make sure to be at Twitch around 7-ish p.m. Central European summertime. Have a good one. Stay safe, everyone. And see you there. Goodbye.